we're just going to look at a couple lines here because I think they're great. Um, and they really represent, I think, um, the ideal Roman concept of, of leadership, at least as Augustus hopes that he is seen by his people. Um, this is 507 and 508. And here Dido was giving rights and laws to the men. And she was fairly or proportionately distributing the labor of the works in just parts. Or she was drawing them by lot. So there's, there are, I think, quite a number of, of uh, ideas to unpack here. Um, Eura and Leges are, by commentators, pretty unanimously considered equal uh, synonymous here. So she was, she was granting the rights to her people and the laws, if we have to make a distinction there. So general kind of, these are your rights as, as citizens in my kingdom, but then the actual legislation here. Regardless, it's more credence to the fact that this is a civilized society, uh, it's a sophisticated society, and this is something that Aeneas sees as mirroring what his future is should be. Um, she is or was fairly doling out the the toil, right, the labor, the actual physical labor of all of the works that have to do with bringing a, a city about in just portions. Or she was drawing them by lot, and I, and I think that this is a recognition that all work is not equal, that uh, regardless, she's trying to show, or she's trying to distribute the, the, the hard work, no matter who you are. Um, and so digging trenches for toilets, not something everybody wants to do. And so those sorts of jobs, she was just pulling out of a hat. She was drawing them by lot for her people, not showing favoritism, not showing preference to a class or um, an establishment, but uh, treating all of her people fairly, as a lot of these words, sorte and aquabot and eustis, uh, all of them indicate.